Okay, in standard number 15, we are going to find x and y intercepts. So let me focus it. No, 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 no. Zoom in first. This piece of paper will be available for you to print on the Google Classroom. Although you certainly do not need to have it printed to be able to do the notes. Let me focus in. And lock. Okay. So we've already done problems like this, where you were supposed to take this information and you were supposed to graph it. So as a reminder, if I take this information and I graph it, the x-intercept, which is going to cross the x-axis, is right here at negative 1. What is the name of this point? The name of this point is negative 1, 0. And then I have the y-intercept is negative 4. The y-intercept falls on the y-axis. It's a point down here where the value of y is negative 4. What is the name of this point? The name of this point is 0, comma, negative 4. So what we are going to do is use this idea that whenever we have or are trying to find the x-axis, no matter where I put a point on the x-axis, the value of y is always equal to 0. And wherever I want to write a y-intercept, and I name that point, the value of x is equal to 0. No, where, no matter where I am on here, if I have a y-intercept anywhere along here, the one thing that would be in common is that all of them would have a value of 0 for the x-coordinate. So essentially, when I find the x-intercept, I say that the value of y is equal to 0. And when I find the y-intercept, I say the value of x is equal to 0. And then we find these numbers. Okay? All right, so on number 2, <clears throat> we're going to find the x and y-intercept. So to find the x-intercept, I say that the y value, the, the value of the y-coordinate is going to be 0. If I find the y-intercept, I say that the value of x is equal to 0. The x-coordinate will be 0. So then I have to find these numbers. So to find the x-intercept, we're saying that the value of y is equal to 0. So I'm going to start with this equation, 2x plus y equals negative 1. And I'm saying that the value of y is going to be 0. OK, and then I don't really need to put plus 0. I end up with 2x equals negative 1. This just pretty much goes bye-bye. And so now I have 2x equals negative 1, x equals negative 1 half. That means the x-intercept is negative 1 half. And then on this one, it's the same exact deal, except this time I'm saying the value of x is equal to 0. So I have my 2x plus y equals negative 1. 2 times 0 plus y equals negative 1. 2 times 0 is 0. That goes bye-bye. This is a positive 1. I have y equals negative 1. That is the y-intercept. So if I wanted to graph this, instead of making a table or instead of uh, isolating the y by eliminating the 2x, essentially moving it over here, right? Instead of going through and turning it into y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form, or instead of making a table, I can just find the two intercepts. If I was going to graph this, which you are not graphing, I'm just showing you where this takes us. This tells me that I have an x-intercept of negative 1 half, and this tells me that I have a y-intercept of negative 1, and then I would have my two points, and I'd be able to graph it. Okay, That is exactly what we're doing in simply the rest of the problems. So I'm just going to repeat that process. I have my x and my y. 
I'm going to find my x-intercept. I know that the value of y is 0. Then I'm going to find my y-intercept. I know that the value of x is 0. So I take x minus 2y equals 4. And the first time I say that the, y, the value of y equals equals 0. Negative 2 times 0, that goes by by. I end up with x equals 4. So 4 comma 0 is the x-intercept. And then I do it again, but this time I say the value of x equals 0. So I say x minus 2y equals, negative, equals positive 4. 0 minus 2y equals 4. That pretty much goes bye-bye. I have negative 2y equals positive 4. Divide both sides by negative 2. And I get y equals negative 2. So the x-intercept is 4 comma 0. The y-intercept is 0 comma negative 2. That's all we're doing for each one. To find the x-intercept, I say that y is 0. To find the y-intercept, I say that x is equal to 0. So I have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. If I say that y is equal to 0, 0 equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Now I'm simply solving for x. Subtract 1 from both sides, I get negative 1 equals negative 2 thirds x. Divide both sides by negative 2 thirds. Okay, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. 1 divided by 2 thirds is 3 halves. And then I do it again. y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. This time I'm saying that the value of x is equal to 0. So y equals negative 2 thirds times 0 plus 1. Negative 2 thirds times 0 is 0. It goes bye-bye. Y is equal to 1. So the x-intercept is 3 halves comma 0, or you could say 1 and a half comma 0, and the y-intercept is at 0 comma 1. And then you would graph them just like I did in number 2. Again, same thing. They do, the problems just look slightly different. So to find the x-intercept, I say that the value of y is 0. To find the y-intercept, I say the value of x is equal to 0. I'm going to start with the problem. To find the x-intercept, I say that the value of y equals 0. So that means I'm going to substitute a 0 in for right there. And I'm going to solve for x. 0 plus 4. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2. So I'm going to get negative 2 equals x minus 3. Oh, x minus 3. Add 3 to both sides. I get x equals positive 1. So the x-intercept is at 1 comma 0. And then I do it again for the y-intercept. So I'm going to have y plus 4 equals negative 2, x minus 3. This time I'm saying that the value of x equals 0. So y plus 4 equals negative 2 times 0 minus 3. y plus 4 equals negative 2 times negative 3. And I mean, like, I'm totally fine if you don't show all of these steps at this point. So I get y equals 2. So the x-intercept is at 1 comma 0 and the y-intercept is at 0 comma 2. Okay, so for number 6 I've kind of worked out a little, right now a little space so I'm going to just write it down here. I have 3y equals 12x. I'm still making my table. When I find my x-intercept, say that the w value of y is 0 and when I find my y-intercept, I say the value of x is 0. So when I have 3y equals 12x, when I find the x-intercept, I say the value of y is 0. So that's going to be 3 times 0 equals 12x. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 equals 12x. Divide both sides by 12. 
I get x equals 0. So that means that the x-intercept is at the origin. And then when I find the y-intercept, I say that x is equal to 0. So I'm going to get 3y equals 12 times 0. 3y equals 0. Divide both sides by 3. I get y equals 0. So turns out that this graph right here goes precisely through the origin. The x-intercept and the y-intercept are both 0. Notice I'm not asking you to graph these. I'm just asking you to find the x and y-intercepts. And the last one. Okay, on the last one, I'm going to be doing the same process. I'm going to set up my table. I'm going to find the x-intercept. When I find the x-intercept, I say the value of y is 0. And I'm going to find the y-intercept. And when I find the y-intercept, I say the value of x equals 0. Okay, so I just printed a new one so I would have a little bit more space to write. When I have negative 2x minus 10 minus 10y, equals 0. If I'm finding the x-intercept, then obviously I'm saying that y is equal to 0. So I'm going to get negative 2x minus 10 minus 10 times 0 equals 0. Well, negative 10 times 0, that's just going to go bye-bye because it's 0. And I have negative 2x minus 10 equals 0. Add 10 to both sides. I get negative 2x equals 10. Divide both sides by negative 2. I get x equals negative 5. So the x-intercept is at negative 5, comma, 0. And then when I find the y-intercept, I say that value of x is equal to 0. So I start with the same problem again. And this time I'm saying the value of x is 0, so I'm going to have negative 2 times 0. This is going to go bye-bye because negative 2 times 0 is 0. I end up with negative 10 minus 10y equals 0. I'll add 10y to both sides. You could also add the 10 to both sides. That doesn't matter. Divide both sides by 10. I get y equals negative 1. So that means that the y-intercept is at 0, negative 1. And that's it.